This video is sponsored by Decal Works, offering 10% off all graphics to retail customers. Use the promo code RX10 at decalmx.com to receive 10% off your graphics. Hey, it's David Pingree with Racer X Online. We're here today with this month's garage build project. It's our 2019 Yamaha YZF250. And what a great bike, just in stock trim. This thing is the choice of most privateers at the moment because it's just powerful. The engine design lends itself to being able to, to pump a lot more horsepower out of this thing if you want to build it up. The handling is great, great suspension on this thing, just a, an all around solid package. So what we decided we wanted to do with this thing, instead of throwing the whole world at it, is let's see what we can do if we were a local racer, maybe a guy on a budget who wanted to squeeze the most he could out of this with, without squeezing his wallet too hard. So that's the direction we went. There's a few blingy pieces that we put on here you wouldn't necessarily have to do, but uh, they're niceties. But basically what we did, went to Twisted Development and they did their head setup. Kept all the stock, stock valve trains so we keep our reliability, we're not dumping money into a cam or anything, it's all the stock stuff. It's just a vertex piston, Twisted Development's head design. He went on and mapped it with just the stock ECU and we put a FMF slip-on muffler. Uh, the standard one, honestly, it still has a cool look. This just gives you a good look on the muffler, better sound, a little bit better performance. It's affordable. Uh, I, I push a lot of people that way just for the slip-ons on a lot of these bikes. Um, and then that was it as far as performance goes. And it's plenty of motor, I promise you. Uh, we have factory connection, do up the suspension. Those guys are awesome. Always do a great job. They nailed the setting on this thing. It's, it's money right off the bat. Um, so, so stoked on that. We set the sag at uh, 104 and I ran it and didn't touch a clicker. Just totally happy. Uh, so thank you to those guys. Awesome job. Uh, and then we went to UFO for the plastic as far as the look. Uh, again, that is some, isn't something you'd have to do if you didn't want to do that. Decal Works made us these really cool matte graphics. Those guys crush it and uh, came out with a really cool look. Moto Seat built us a seat to match it. We, uh, for the handlebars here, we went to a Renthal 603, which is a cool bend. Handlebars are so uh, just personal. It's kind of up to what you like. This was a really good bend for me. Uh, I typically like something a little flatter. Uh, but on the Yamaha, because it's got such a, a low bar mount position, I actually like something with a little rise. So uh, this is a really good compliment to this bike. Uh, we went to Works Connection for a few things, and some of the stuff is important. I always recommend these radiator braces because a little tip over can cost you hundreds of dollars to replace a radiator or bend it back into place, or you're running around with radiators cocked sideways, nothing fits. These are cheap insurance, they're light, so they don't add a bunch of weight to your bike. Check those out. Of course, we've got all the caps, uh, bar clamps, all the different cool stuff that Works Connection makes to make it look good, but not necessary if you're really on a budget. We got Tusk wheel sets on this, which are affordable, good aftermarket wheel sets. Dunlop MX-33 is on here. It's my go-to tire, the gold standard for motocross. Uh, Scar foot pegs, they're titanium. These things are rad. Again, you wouldn't have to do that if you didn't want to. Uh, I always recommend, though, trying to, to pay attention to your contact points. So make sure you've got good grips, fresh, grips that you like that, that you know try something try half waffle try full waffle try different compounds figure out what's good for you and run it and then always make sure you got a good foot peg if you want to take an angle grinder and take your stock ones and sharpen them up great but make sure you've got good contact points wherever you're touching the bike it's important um, so there's a unit filter in here we ran some vp 4.4 uh, not necessary again you could run stock fuel with this setup but we just wanted to squeeze a little more power out of it and uh, Vertex uh, piston, as I mentioned, and we got a Super Sprox chain and sprocket. And really, that's it. We're ready to go racing on this thing. So on the track, like I said, I, I, I kind of knew we didn't throw the whole world at it, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Man, this thing is a rocket. It, it's super fast. This is a competitive bike. Unless you're racing the Nationals, this has all the horsepower you'd ever need. Uh, any kind of local or even amateur national level, this is a competitive engine. And you can do it for, I guess it's someone's opinion what well, is affordable these days but you can do it for a lot less money than you think um, the bike handles super great so again not it's easy to make this thing work the guys at uh, uh, factory connection crushed the suspension setting like i mentioned i didn't touch it um, we did throw a hints and clutch on it 
just for durability and a little bit better feel. Uh, I always like to go to something uh, that's got a little, a little bit beefier. I know I'm not going to wear it out. Uh, but the brakes on this thing and stock trim are good. We threw different tusk rotors on it, but you, you don't need to. Um, I, I mean, literally, there isn't anything I had a complaint about on this bike. Um, does take a little bit get, of getting used to. It's got kind of a wider feel than some of your other bikes. But within two laps, I was comfortable, and this thing just works. Once you figure out body positioning on it, um, it's awesome. Plenty of horsepower, handles awesome, turns well. Really no complaints. That's why you see these bikes doing so well at the pro racing level and you see so many guys racing them at the Amateur Nationals. So uh, this thing was a home run. The guys, uh, everybody involved really did an awesome job. The parts and pieces we got on here are great. Thank you to everyone involved. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next Garage Build.